news for people who can't stand the news. Hey, how you doing? It's your man, Tim Black. Thank you for tuning in to news for people who can't stand the news. I got news for you that is not related to politics. I know you're astonished, right? Go with me, please, to Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I have the story of a man, Edgar Alvarado. He was gunned down in his own home, minding his own business. Because why? Because America. America militarized police. Excessively militarized police. Okay, so Edgar Alvarado, he's 23. He's at his house Saturday morning, like 3 a.m. Police say 6 a.m. Witnesses say 3 a.m. Let's split it at 4.30. Whatever, for whatever reason, he's working on his car. Okay, he's at a trailer. Okay, the marshals and the Albuquerque Police Department are looking for someone. They're looking for a man by the name of George Bond. Well, Edgar is not George Bond, but unfortunately, Edgar lives three trailers down from George Bond. Edgar, he's in trailer 26. George Bond is in trailer 29. And you can see how they could easily be confused, right? Well, not really, because they're different numbers, right? I mean, everybody has an address that's close to someone else, right? Once again, this wouldn't have been a problem if they would have knocked on the door, you know, like normal people, conducted their investigation or whatever, tried to execute their warrant as, you know, as police used to do it. No, not this case. In this case, what happened from what we can gather, because the FBI, the U.S. Marshals, the Albuquerque Police Department, they haven't been exactly forthcoming with what happened. But witnesses say they heard a couple shots and then they saw their friend Edgar be dragged out onto the line. Yeah. I don't even know how many bullets Edgar took. All I know is Edgar is deceased and Edgar did nothing. Edgar was at home. Now, once they realized, uh-oh, looks like we killed the wrong guy. We got the wrong house after all. They went on down to trailer number 29 and guess who was home? Mr. George Bond, who gave them no trouble, and they arrested him and six of his friends. Now, look, it's true. George Bond is not a good guy. Apparently, he's a suspect, right? They've been, he's been wanted in connection to uh, something that happened back in 2014, some type of murder in Las Los Lunas. Las Lunas? Los Lunas, okay? But okay, I understand that. But that doesn't give you the right to go down to... Mr. Alvarado's house and kill him in cold blood looking for the other guy. Say, like, oh, Tim, this is just, you know, this is a horrific thing. You know, don't, don't, don't be so hard on the police. They didn't mean to do it. Accidents happen. Here, yeah. easy for you to say when it's not you, it's not your son or your daughter or your husband or your cousin or your wife or your child. See, what you need to understand is that the average police department has more military outfit gear than a soldier in Afghanistan. That's right. According to the ACLU, ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union, this is a growing problem with police force. War comes home. It's a report done by the ACLU, the excessive militarization of American policing. There are reports of flash bang grenades being used, on regular, regular warrants. Got a little bit of weed. We're going to throw a flash bang grenade. Do you know what a flash bang grenade does? Its intention is to disorient you as if you are the enemy combatant. Right? It's the equivalent of a grenade. It's a grenade, but it's sights and sounds. So you're supposed to be momentarily like really freaking out. And then the police are able to move in and do their thing. But it's really not for police. It's what you use when you are taking doors in Afghanistan. That's what they're using right here in America for things as simple as a guy who needs a, what, what uh, what's the story, Mr. Akers? Because recently, that's what I heard in Albuquerque recently, right? A little bit different. This is, this is Mr. Akers who, he didn't pay a school loan or something. He owed $1,500 and he didn't go to court, so they came to get him with what? A SWAT tactical team, of course. That's who we send to collect debts now. That's right, you, you missed a court date for $1,500 school for a school bill from 29 years ago. We got to come get you. 
Listen, I don't know if there's still a bunch of people out there in denial about the over excessive force our police force uses when dealing with regular citizens, but I guess there may be a couple stragglers. Listen, you need to come on board and join me in this fight against injustice.